Hello, hello everyone. My name is Linda Gunner. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfect Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events in and around the Philadelphia area. We do full service, partial, month of coronations. We do custom events. Anything that you're planning and decorating, we handle the clan of destination weddings. We travel in and out of the surrounding states to do events and decor. I have about 10 plus years in the wedding industry. I am a certified wedding planner and I'm also a licensed florist. So any aspect of a wedding or event, I can handle it all. I come with a staff, a great, great staff. Um, and they are the backbone behind my business because behind every so as they said, behind every successful man that's a success is a strong black woman. But behind every successful event planet, there's a scrum team. With our my team, I won't be able to do it because they help me pull things together when you know when my brain is going over the place. They are trying to make sure that everything is done. They are great and I am very grateful to have a team that um is strong behind me so today um i'm just gonna as i said in every video i try to give something information to people to help you with your event planning your wedding and things that can help you with your day off um and also things that you need to know um and one thing i want to talk about is writing things down and having things ready now whether a vendor or a, plan, a wedding planner or anything. If you have a conversation with a client, have it documented somewhere. Have some kind of transparency there because in the end it's that sometimes people may say something and you may not get that 100%. You may be misunderstanding what they're saying or the information may be misconstrued. So whatever anybody tell me, I might either send you a quick email or text say, hey, part of our conversation, this is what we talk about. Um, just want to regroup to make sure everything is okay and then go from there. Um, that way you have that information, whether as I said, whether it's your text message, whether it's your email, you always want to have that information ready now. Or if in some kind of form of a contract, they can update your contract to have it reflect. Reason being is that I might tell you something today. I may forget. Oh, I'm just using me. Uh, the person may forget. Um, and you can say, well, no, you said this and this it, and then go back and forth, back and forth. You always want to have that information ready there. You always want to have that information there. So in a way, they know exactly what they are doing. You don't want to say, well, that's not what I said. It, 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 the back and forth can cause a lot of friction and a lot of things. So when you are planning your wedding, when you're planning any events, any make and max, any information that you have with a planner, a photographer, a DJ, you name it all. You want to make sure that that information is ready down. You want to make sure that you have either a phone call or something to show that. That way you can refer to it and say, hey, look at X, Y, and Z. This is what we talk about. And that person can then go back to that information and say, oh, yes, I do remember. And then it make it easier. But if it's your word against their words, you cannot fault somebody for not having something ready now, what they say doing in passing. So anything that I talk to about somebody, I make sure I have a confirmation with them. And on that date, and I have something to reflect to that conversation. So it makes my job easier because I don't want to go back into something and then it's not there. So just to go so back, make sure that everything is documented. Make sure you have everything in contract and I also had a time where I talk about contracts and things and so make sure you have everything contract and sign if the person does not have a contract personally I would not work with them um, because every wedding professional every professional is supposed to have a contract if they don't have anything you can if you really want to work with that person you can draft a contract and have them sign it um, it doesn't mean that they are a bad person. Some people might be in the beginning stage of the work. Oh, I can't fault anybody because we all was at that point at one time that it didn't have certain things. Some people do things differently. But they may, but that doesn't mean that I do. So I cover my end. 
to make sure that I'm completely covered so there's nothing to go back and forth with. I don't want to. And also, if you're not sure, ask questions. If somebody tell you something and you don't completely understand it, don't just say, okay. Don't just go along with it and in the end you'll be left with something. If you are paying somebody for a service, what are you paying them? Oh, yeah, sorry. What are you paying them? You want to make sure that you have this information ready now. Because that way, it costs a smooth sitting. You don't have to have anything. Because anything can happen. That person may leave the job. That person may change to something else. And somebody else come up and they be like, well, there's no documentation for this person ever saying that. Then you can refer to your notes. Well, on this day, on that day, I have X, Y, and Z that show that this person advise me on this information and then they have to hold on to the word so always always have things documented and that will save you a lot of headaches if you are doing anything whether for a venue whatever is for your DJ what is for your photographer have it ready out if you are within doubt, ask questions. If you don't know, do your research. That's why I tell people it pays to have a professional wedding planner. It pays to have somebody who know what they're doing. Because sometimes any question that you may not know that you need, that not every person, if you don't ask, you can fault them to say, well, they should have told me. They may not know that you want that service. They may think that it doesn't matter to you. So things that if you don't know, do your research to save you the head a higher professional. And I understand that people say, well, it costs, it costs. I would rather pay money for something that would give me peace of mind than to try to stress myself out. Now, I understand everybody budget financially is different. You may not be able to, but no matter what it is, Put money in your budget to hire a wedding coordinator. The day of coordinator, because in the end, it makes your life simpler. It makes your event simpler. Because in the end, your day will go up with a hitch. I'm not saying this is not going to happen, but because these people are trained. I should say, we are trained. We are prepared for every situation. What comes our way, we can find something to open then substitute it and make it know there are a lot of times there are a lot of things that happen being on the scene during a wedding that a couple have no idea what is going on if they know that it probably passed out we don't tell them it's our job to fix the problem it's not our job to stress them out it's a lot of things that happen wedding day don't always go great there's something that always go wrong there's always something every event that goes wrong if I'm having a wedding and nothing goes wrong and everything goes properly, eh, my brain will be like, it has to be some kind of hiccup. And I'm not saying it like I look forward to it. You can plan a perfect wedding. You can plan a perfect event. Something might change. But you have to learn how to adapt to work with the changes. I'm not saying something bad happened, but maybe, like for example, you might plan a perfect timeline. You might go off behind schedule. And you have to try to catch up with that time to make up the times. That's some of the errors I'm talking about. Or maybe setting things that you told would be longer, it's shorter. So now you have to hurry up and go to the next thing. If the next thing is not ready, you have to not try to fill in those gaps. So there's a lot of things that goes on to make that smooth sailing. So if you have a professional in there, they know how to fix all of that for you. You might have a caterer that show up late. You might have a DJ that didn't have certain things right. It's our job to have this information. Hey, no, this is this, 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 and prepare. It might be a sound, might be a music. There are a lot of things happen because we are human. Error happens. But you properly have somebody who probably know what they're doing, it makes your life easier. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching. That was said. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, as I said, I will continue to do these videos to just let inform you guys anything I I know at some point I went into a series but when it's busy like that for me if you see where I'm not going because I would love to do series and series and series but sometimes when it's so busy 
I can't really do those things that I would love to do because you know I have a client but I still have to talk to you guys and make sure you guys are okay over the end so I'm not forgetting you guys so I will give you information so I'm sorry if I, I'm not giving you you know right now some of the topics that you may want to hear right now but the topics will come back it's just that this wedding season is extremely busy but I'm trying my best to make sure that I get these things to you and get it out there but trust me more is to come when the season calm down a little bit after October as I said things should be a little calmer not that intense it's not that I don't want it to get intense but I do I, I love the challenge but I know we will go into more detail um it's just that this month is like ah oh, I know July and August is it's is a lot to put in there's a lot of clients I have like a lot of events um back to back it's like sometime two in a week and like last week I had two events in a week um and this week I have multiple so it's just those things but once again thanks for watching have an amazing day